Hi guys, I'm not going to see much of my face today because I'm not all schnazzy looking, but hands are clean and we are making keto pizza, cauliflower crust pizza, pepperoni, and we are making Jada a homemade pizza. So what I've done is I'm spraying both the bottoms of the pans with olive oil spray and... My pizza comes with a little bit of pepperoni on it, as you can see. Jada's pizza, we do, we use the Pillsbury pizza crust. And the oven is um, already preheating at 400. Let's see if I can. Oh, yep. I always mess up the pizza dough. That's okay. I can fix and patch it. Even if it comes messed up. Here, Judith, could you throw that away for me? So, the dough came, came out a little messed up, but that's okay. Because I can patch it. So, you just unrun, un, unroll the dough, excuse me. Pull it out to the edges. Do you want to get ready with the sauce? With your pizza sauce? You pull the pizza out to the edges. Jada just likes some normal cheese, plain Jane pizza. Every once in a while she'll eat a pepperoni pizza, but she loves homemade cheese pizza. So. Since the pizza dough is so thin, I don't have to like poke it or anything. It does pretty good on its own. So Jade's gonna go ahead and sauce it up. And on my pizza, it's got a little bit of pepperoni, but and some mozzarella cheese. Um, looks like it has a little bit of marinara on there, but not too much. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some. Fresh spinach. Some yummy, yummy, yummy fresh spinach. Lots and lots and lots of it. As much that I can get spit on there because it shrinks up. I do need a, a little bit of cheese to put on top. Maybe I'll use a little bit of which is kind of weird. It's only because we're short on mozzarella, but I do have some provolone, which I could use. I could throw a slice or two of that on top. Um, you just gotta watch your carbs when you're doing keto. Gotta watch your carbs. I'm not obviously counting every carb I'm putting on here, so. And then I'm adding some mushrooms, some fresh mushrooms. Good job with the sauce, Jada. You want to put it on a little bit more heavier than that? A little bit more thicker. Okay, there's my mushrooms, if you guys can see that. I'm going to add some bacon pieces. Who doesn't like bacon pieces? Add some bacon pieces here. That is not really a normal pizza. And, yeah, cause, yeah, you can make any kind of pizza you want. Hmm, okay. You can literally make any kind of pizza with any kind of toppings that you like. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay, let me see. Good job. So we'll just go ahead. Hey, I slap put... a little bit more on there in the places that it's a little dry. Because then your pizza will be too dry. Oops. But that's okay, good job though. You did a really good job. Alright, you wanna grab the cheese? The you wanna grab the cheese? Be careful, we don't have much cheese, so you wanna Spread it out evenly, okay? 
Okay. All right. Good job. There you go. Now you're all sauced up. If you guys can see that, she's all sauced up. Do we have a lid? Yes, we have a lid for our pizza sauce. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a couple slices of provolone cheese. Provolone cheese, and I'm going to throw just a couple on top to hold everything down, I guess. So, ba bam. Maybe two more. <laughs> Who doesn't love cheese? So, obviously, not counting carbs on this one, but it's not like I'm going to eat the whole thing. So anyways, the keto cauliflower crust pizza is so good. The one that I'm making is so good that even Jada didn't even know when I first bought it and made it. And my boyfriend as well. He loves it. And they're very, very, very picky eaters. Very, very picky. Clean up as you work. And then, last but not least, when she's done, I'm done, I put Italian seasoning on top. Bam, bam. And call it good. Unfortunately, Is there you guys enough are... cheese? Uh, no. Oh, keep going. Okay. Let me see how much you got. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and use the whole bag. Make sure we get all, all of it. Good job, Jada. Very, 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 very good job. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> A little bit of cheese got on the side and she's blowing it. You're gonna end up blowing the cheese over all your cheese off the pizza. I'm just joking. Okay, well, cheese is all gone now. Now we need to shred our own. So, okay, with Jada's pizza, we're gonna go ahead and top it off with some Italian seasoning. And unfortunately, guys, I'm not good at editing, so you guys won't get to see unless you watch or follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, uh, my Instagram is KV underscore single, um, um, and uh, my name is Crystal Boyer on Facebook. Yeah, and you can follow us there and find our pictures and the aftermath. Going in, Jada's Pizza. Again, 400 degrees. We're going to put them in for about, mm, about, let's say, 10 to 15 minutes. And our timer is right here. So I got to give my shout outs to Alicia, Michelle. Thank you very much for all my wonderful things. I have my platter here, my family over everything platter here, serving platter. Um, it's covered in fruit and all kinds of good stuff. Anyways, okay, let's get the timer going. And then, could you put that away for me, please, Jada? Awesome. All right, guys. Well, that's a quick, easy video on how to make quick easy cheese pizza for your kid and a quick and easy cauliflower crust keto pizza for yourself and you can add whatever you want on your pizzas literally you just saw put whatever you want on it more meat more whatever 
All right, guys, I'm going to go because I'm not feeling too hot today. Yesterday was Mother's Day. We had a great day. Hope everybody had a great Mother's Day. Uh, Jade and I went out, and we went to a fantastic restaurant, didn't we? High five. Yeah. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah? All right. Well, until next time, guys, see you later. Ciao for now. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Bye. Say bye, Jada. Bye, guys. Bye for now.